in this video we will be discussing about system of linear equation homogeneous type now if you see i have taken one sample question and uh, this question can be written as ax is equal to 0 now the only thing that you have to observe is the right hand side value is 0 so there is no b now the right hand side is 0 and when you see the equation of this type we call this as a homogeneous equation okay homogeneous system of equations so as we know a is going to be the coefficient matrix so we'll write down all the coefficients it's going to be 1 2 3 coefficient to the first then for the second equation it is 2 3 1 for the third equation it is 4 5 4 and for the fourth equation it is 1 2 minus 2 so i'll write down the coefficients then x here is going to be all the variables so variables are x y and z and the right hand side values are anyways all zero so we have expressed it in the form and this is exactly of the form x is equal to zero now as soon as you get this equation in this particular form next we have to do is we have to reduce this equation into echelon form so now recall the echelon form echelon form is basically this is the diagonal of the matrix right now all the values below the diagonal we have to make them zero and then we can call it as an echelon form so let us start reducing this matrix we will use row operations and make this as an echelon form so first we will try to make this this and this all three elements over here zero so let's see how we can do that now my operations are going to be like this to make this two zero i will double this and subtract so that is going to be r2 becomes r2 minus 2 r1 that's the first operation now to make this 4 0 i will do four times of this and subtract so it is going to be r3 becomes r3 minus 4 r1 and to make the last one 0 i can just subtract right so r4 becomes r4 minus r1 so let us perform all these operations first and see what we get uh, well this will be the first row will remain as it is so it is one two three this is x and look right hand side is zero so even if you perform these operations it's all going to be zero only so let me just write down zero for this entire column matrix over here so and we'll get all these three zero after we perform the operation so let's quickly do these operations okay i'm going to do each and every operation just see if you understand this really well so what we'll do is we will sub, we will multiply r2 by minus 2 we will multiply r2 by r sorry we'll multiply r1 by minus 2 and add to r2 okay so how is that going to be if i multiply this by minus 2 this becomes minus 2 here okay and then i subtract here okay so so and then i add here so it becomes zero so it's already zero now multiply by minus two here this will become minus four and add to three this will become minus one multiply by minus two this is minus six and add here this will give me minus five then for r3 the third row multiply by minus four so this is minus four and add here this becomes zero multiply by minus four this will become minus eight and minus 8 and 5 is going to be minus 3 then multiply by minus 4 this is minus 12 minus 12 and add to 4 this is going to be minus 8 then let us do the last operation which is r4 minus r1 so it is 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 2 is also 0 but minus 2 minus 3 is going to give me minus 5 isn't it so this is the first set of operations and we managed to reduce these three to zero right now let us do next operation now we want to make this zero okay so to make this zero we will perform the operation here so let me make some make a partition and continue with the operations here uh, the next operation that i would like to do is r3 the row 3 becomes row 3 r3 minus 3 r2 okay so then we will get let me write that x right hand side is zero anyways so it is one two three the first row second row is zero minus one minus five and when we do r3 minus 3 r2 we will multiply r2 by minus 3 and add so look this zero is not changing it will remain as it is then we'll multiply by minus 3 here that becomes 3 and add here minus 3 3 becomes 0 multiply by minus 3 so it is 15 and 15 and minus 8 is going to give me 7 that's the another operation and i'm keeping this 0 0 minus 5 as it is 
Now we will have to do one more operation and make this minus phi also zero. And to do that, I will perform R4 becomes, now I'll use this seven, okay? R4 becomes R4 plus R3, I'll divide by seven. So this will become one and multiply by five, okay? And then I'll add to this. I hope you understood this one as well. And when I do that, I'll get the last one also zero. So let's quickly write this down. One, two, three, zero minus one minus five. And then this is zero, zero, seven. And then this is zero, zero, zero. Okay. So we have reduced this matrix into row echelon form. Now let me elaborate that. Look, if you look at this matrix here, this is diagonal, right? And below the diagonal, all the values are zero. And this form is called as echelon form. Or we can also call it as a row echelon form. Okay. But all the values below diagonal are zero. And we've used row operations. So that's a row echelon form. Now, as soon as you get this echelon form, the next step we do here is rewrite equations. So we can write rewrite equation based on this matrix. Now, see, this was x, y, and z anyways. So all you have to do is you multiply this row with the column. So first row by column is going to give me, uh, this will be X plus two Y plus three Z right hand side is zero anyways. Okay. The second one will be minus Y minus five Z is equal to zero. And the third equation is seven Z is equal to zero. Okay. So we got these three equations. Now from these equations, now we can easily find out the values of X, Y, Z. The first equation is seven Z equal to zero simply means what this should be. Z has to be zero, right? Then only seven times zero will be zero. Now we found Z equal to zero here. We'll put that value here. Okay. When we put it here, it is going to be Y is equal to zero from this equation. I'll get Y equal to zero. Okay. And if I put X and Y both are zero here, I'm going to get X. If I put Y and Z equal to zero, I'll get X equal to zero. So we have the solution. Let me write down the solution. And the solution is X, Y, Z. All the three variables have got values zero. And this is your final answer. Now we got the answer, but now next we're going to do is we're going to look at the answer. And there are a few points that I want you to observe. So I'm clearing some space. And there are some important observations that I want to write down. And, and you should understand these points very well. So these are some of the comments on this question. See how it works. Well, the first point is the solution. Okay. The solution is X equal to zero, Y equal to zero and Z is equal to zero. We got the solution, but all the values are zero. Okay. And zero is not really a very useful solution, not very significant. So we call this solution as a trivial solution. Trivial is not very significant. Okay. So this is a trivial solution. And then the reason we call it trivial solution, because uh, all the values are zero, it's not going to be very useful. And I want you to observe this phenomena and see when this happens. Okay. When trivial solution happens. Now here, if you see the rank of A, Okay, we have to talk about rank of A, which is number of non-zero rows, right? So you see the first row is non-zero, second row is non-zero, and third row is non-zero, but the last one is zero. Last row has got all the values zero, right? So we have three non-zero rows for A, the reduced form of A, okay? So we write down the rank of A is three, okay? Rank of A is three, then we write this as R. So we got the value of R as three, and the number of variables, how many variables do we have? The variables are three. So number of variables is three and R is also three. Now we, here, I want you to note one point that if for homogeneous system of equation, system of equation, if R is equal to N, okay, if this happens, then this implies a trivial solution. Okay. Now this is one important observation. Okay. So, um, and that is exactly what has happened here. Okay. Because rank was same as number of variable. We just got the solution, which is not very important or trivial. Basically all the values are zero. Okay. So that's one observation. Now we will see the next question and the next question we will deal with mostly non-trivial solution. And uh, when, 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 when that question comes, we will discuss how 
we can ensure that solution is non-trivial. And that is coming up in the next question.